So a quick vlog update because I've got big news for myself. Um, so in hmm, maybe like February or something, I got I had some dental work done because basically one of my teeth literally broke in my mouth. It was real dramatic. And so I went to the dentist and it was unfortunately, it was a cavity that got bad enough to cause, you know, a piece of the teeth to basically fall off. So that, wow, you know, um, that was kind of a wake up call uh, about dental hygiene, you know, because I'm not necessarily the best at flossing. So, I've definitely taken up flossing as a bit of a practice. Um, try to do it every day, but it's hard. And, it, and it's hard in my case, actually, because some of my teeth are so close together that they, they shred the dental floss. So if, if you know anything about that and you have a recommendation, you can go ahead and add that in the comments. But I also had some other dental work that needed to get done, including some wisdom teeth. And it's just so expensive. That's, so that's the second wake up call that I had. It's so expensive to get work done, dental work done in the United States and medical work done if you don't have just amazing insurance, which is in and of itself is expensive. It's kind of out of reach for a lot of people. So I'm going to Brazil uh, where I have a I guess a dual citizenship or something like that. I don't exactly know what the legal status is, but my mother's Brazilian and I have a valid Brazilian passport. And the prices to get there are just very where I need them to be. You know, like I've, I've been monitoring the prices. I wanted to go to Brazil back in June or late May or something like that. And I wasn't able to go because of the pandemic. And of course I understand the pandemic and I've been living in it, being here in the United States, the country with the most cases in the world and the most deaths in the world. So uh, I certainly understand the idea of being cautious during the pandemic, but um, I feel that I can get to Brazil safely. Uh, everything I've read about the, the seats and the, you know, sitting down in the, in the airplane and the, the way that the the air conditioning works in the airplane. I feel comfortable enough to, to do that, um, to get there. And I have a cousin luckily who is a, a, a dental surgeon who is actually a professor at a dental institute. So uh, and she's agreed to help me out. Um, so I'm gonna take advantage of this. Uh, you know, I, there's so many things I can say about this, about the U.S. economy, about the problems of the U.S. medical healthcare industry. There's a lot of things I could say about it. And if anyone's interested in learning about those things or my opinions, you can go ahead and comment. But otherwise, I'm not going to go into a rant because I'm already talking three minutes, 32 seconds. And if I make these videos too long, people don't watch them. Uh, it's a very unexpected trip. I was not planning to go now. I was planning maybe to go in late December, depending on how things turned out. But, you know, the way life is here in the United States, it's, it's such a, you know, it's such a limited life. So why have a limited life here when I can have a limited life somewhere that I can get dental care at a very cheap price? Uh, you know, so um, I'm, I'm going to take care of my teeth. I'm going to you know, all kinds of things. It's probably gonna take a few weeks to just to take care of my dental work and that's gonna be great. It'll be nice to spend a little time with my cousins who I haven't seen in a while. Um, the few that I'm able to see. I mean, there's a lot of cousins who I'm not gonna see because of the pandemic and that's perfectly understandable. It makes me sad, but you know, what are you gonna do? It's just, that's just life. It, I wish it was as simple as, you know, getting tested and making sure that everyone was negative and, and just keeping track of things like that. But just like in the United States, despite having the technology, we don't have the infrastructure to make that easy, to make that feasible. So, uh, you know, um, there you go. Uh, I've got another video that I'm gonna make. <laughs>